Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Easter basket time. You guys have been asking me, but I haven't been ready until now <laughs> uh, to show you what is in my five kids Easter baskets. My kids are a year and a half through 15 years old, three girls and two boys. And I do Easter baskets very similarly for all of them across the board. It's, we live, uh, you know, a couple minutes to the beach. So it's a lot of summery things. They always need new swimsuits this time of year. Uh, we take our spring break around Easter. So these are mostly just things for them to enjoy during spring break. And that's the way we've always done things. We don't even give them to them on Easter. Um, we give it to them around Easter. So because our Easter Sunday is very full with church and church commitments and things like that. So um, I only recently got everything together. Easter snuck up on me this year. So um, that's why this video is late. So sorry about that. I will link everything down in the description box down below. If you guys have any questions about any of the stuff, leave it in the comments down below and let me know what you guys are putting in your kids Easter baskets this year. So without further ado, here is what is in my five kids Easter baskets this year. Okay, so this is everything all laid out and then I'll show it in their baskets at the end. Um, but I'll start over here with their swimsuits and then show you everything else. So this is an age order. They each got two new swimsuits and my little girls, I got all of theirs from Classic Whimsy, which used to be called Smocked Auctions. Um, and so I got them very similar ones. So they, they each have one of these little one piece suits with the bows. I just thought they were the cutest thing I'd ever seen. And I wanted them to have that and the rash guard version of it. So there's like the long sleeve SPF version that um, it's a one piece for my littlest. And then my um, six year old who will be seven, I guess by Easter, has the same one piece as her sister. And then her rash guard set is a two piece. So she has the little two piece long sleeve set. My 10 year old son um, and my 12 year old son, they both like these kinds that have the almost like bike short liners underneath of them. So they each got one of these just for the pool and for the beach. So this one is for my 10 year old. And then they also each got a pair of board shorts, like Hurley board shorts for surfing. Um, they, they need different suits. First of all, like we're at the beach or pool every day living down in Florida, but then also, um, when they surf, it just kind of wears on their suits differently. And so I would like them to have two different suits because this type will kind of pill if they use it when they're surfing. And then this one will hold up a little better because it's a little bit more slim. So that's my 12 year olds. I mean my 10 year olds. And then for my 12 year old, this is his suit with the like swim trunks with the liner just for hanging out. And then these are his board shorts. For my 15 year old daughter, I got her, this is like a high-waisted tankini set. She has a similar one that she got herself last year that was red and like floral. So I got her the green with the stripes. And then for her, the rash guard set for surfing and all that, this is the set that I got for her. I thought this was a really cute print. And actually it's really nice. It has like the little cutout for her thumbs, but also this is nice because it's not just a rash guard. It's actually like, um, lined inside. So I know she'll appreciate that and it's nice and long sleeve and still super cute. So that's hers. So those are their suits. There's some suits this year. Sorry guys, I can't film this on a day where I can like set it up and show you everything like where I'm facing the camera. It has to be spread out like this because my kids are home and I won't have another chance over the next week to um, film without them around. So it's hard to do gifts right now um, with them in the house. So then all of my older ones, so my seven year old on up, each got one of these Lego sets, these little birds in a nest set. Um, we have been studying the um, Burgess bird book this year and it's probably all of their favorite part of our family subjects. And so I went with a little bit of a bird theme in their um, Easter baskets this year for that reason. So they each got one of these and then um, jump roping has been their thing in the last couple weeks, ever since daylight savings time, 
like we are literally outside for two hours every night just jump roping they're learning all sorts of different like double dutch jumps and things like that so uh, but then they'll double up their double dutch jump ropes and try to turn them into single jump ropes because all of our single jump ropes have just bit the dust over the years so i went ahead and got these for my young my um 10 year old and my seven year old and then my son's on the football team and my daughter's been doing conditioning with her acro coach so i know that they actually like using these to work out so then i got them a nicer quality one for working out so these are for my 15 year old and my 12 year old and then for my little 18 month old 20 month old i guess i got her the little mini sarah's silks streamers um they're like the little ribbon you know the little ribbon um ribbon dance toys i don't know how to explain it but um like the ribbon wands i got my older daughter the longer ones they're quite a few feet long and these ones are just tiny she my toddler loves playing with my six-year-olds um but she gets them all tangled up they're way too long for her and these are just like miniature versions of them and so she can't jump rope yet but i know she will absolutely love going outside and playing with these while the kids are jump roping um okay chalk i got this from did i get this from shrimp and grits or from no this is from this is also from Classic Whimsy. These sidewalk chalk paint brushes. They're from Mud Pie. Um, they're so cute. I got these for my toddler as her chalk this year. And then my older ones, I'm just splitting these packs up. Um, and they're each going to have one, one of these. These neon sidewalk chalk paint. And we have like a bunch of sidewalk chalk. So I just thought they'd get a kick out of these. Um, and then of course gotta have some bubbles they all have some bubbles um they all also have some puzzles so again here's the bird theme so this is from lakeshore learning i got this from my toddler it just tells her her colors <laughs> this cute little birdie puzzle this is i i mentioned the bird theme and the reason behind it so this one we are a puzzle loving family especially over spring break they won't have dance or karate or most of their evening activities so i know we'll have a lot of like coffee or tea nights and just doing puzzles so um this is the one for my 15 year old it's beautiful thousand piece puzzle i believe is this one a thousand pieces i think so i think it was a thousand piece and it's a round puzzle which is neat this is for my 10 year old who is my feather collector so i knew he would love this take on the bird theme it's a 500 piece foil puzzle. This is for my seven year old. It's a 300 piece chubby birds puzzle. I thought it was so cute. And then for my 12 year old, he's just gonna love this because they look like really cool birds. But also he did a puzzle last year that had the thing, the different pictures and squares like this and he loved it. So this is a thousand piece one, but I know that he's gonna like it because it's kind of separated like that. So those are their puzzles. Oops, hold on. Let me get my dog right, to chill A couple out. things here are their snacks and candy. So I got each of them, and these are snacks for the beach. Um, so I got them each a container of sun chips. So either the Harvest Cheddar Minis or the Garden Salsa Minis. They each have one of those. And then my uh, toddler has these baby goldfish, which are her favorite. And then I got them each one of these lint little chocolates so either they all have um a chick and they all have a lamb and they're perforated on the edge so i can just break these up and they can just have two of these and then on um good friday we do our big easter egg hunt we do a glow in the dark easter egg hunt that night and they'll get tons of candy which is why I don't put a ton of candy in their <laughs> easter baskets and then um they each have a bubble tea so um, either the strawberry rose one or the blueberry pomegranate black tea. Um, and they're all going to like that very much as well. So that's everything that's going in their Easter baskets this year. I know I usually do like a book and um, like flip flops or sunglasses, but they're all good right now. They've all got um, books they're working through. They're all good on sunglasses. Everyone just got new shoes, so it wasn't necessary this year. Um, so we broke tradition a little bit, but that's what's going in their Easter baskets. I'll get them all set up and show you what they look like. All right, 
And here is the final product.